In these uncertain economic times, it's easy to be worried about protecting your wealth, your hard-earned savings, and your family's financial future. Plunging interest rates, the devaluating dollar, and political unrest constantly threaten what you have worked hard to earn and all that you own. That's why now it's more important than ever to protect your assets and have the money you need to make your dreams come true. Welcome to the Global Wealth Fortress Report with successful global entrepreneur and wealth preservation expert, Joel Nagel. Joel's helped thousands of people just like you protect what you have so that you can make even more and make your every dream come true. So, sit back and enjoy Joel Nagel's offshore expert advice on how you can live the good life at a great price, where the sun never sets on your financial fortress. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Global Wealth Fortress Report. I'm Joel Nagel, and I'm coming to you today from the town of Kashkesh, which is a very posh, very small town just outside of Lisbon. It's about 20 miles north of Lisbon. And uh, in our episode yesterday, I was talking about different ways you can qualify for the golden visa in Portugal. And I was mostly talking about real estate, but we also mentioned some of the other ways. Uh, it's going to be interesting to show you uh, the project that my family and I invested in. Right behind me, you can see the villa. It sits right on the edge of the town. It's the, really the last town in the town center. Uh, it's directly across the street from the Citadel, the Kashkesh Citadel. Let me finish here, I'll give you a little bit of a look so you can see. The Citadel is interesting. It's an old fortress. Uh, it was used in the very first James Bond film in Her Majesty's Secret Service uh, as a as to where the, the bad guys lived. So uh, if, you have, if you're a Bond fan, you might want to look at that. So the villa is looking across at the Citadel, and also uh, we're right on the edge of the marina. Um, there's untold boats, really of all, different, of all different sizes. I just wanted to give you a idea of the kind of thing you could invest in. I mean, you can buy your own property. I went through the property amounts that range from 500,000 euros down to as low as 280,000, depending on where you decide to invest and what you decide to invest in. The home be behind me uh, was a collective investment project. We had about 20 uh, folks that invested in it and were converting a beautiful uh, end of the 19th century manor house into a five-star boutique hotel. So each of the 20 investors invested in this. We, in, in this case, we were able to invest at a reduced amount because it is a historic rehab, uh, which was nice. And uh, it's a little bit off track in terms of time because of the shutdown related to coronavirus and all that nonsense. But uh, it should be, the renovation should be completed sometime next year sometime in the early fall next year and the goal is to have the hotel open uh, by Christmas 2021. So I just thought it'd be interesting to show you an example. Most people invest in properties themselves. I really didn't want to have to be caring for something from thousands of miles away. Uh, so I decided to go into a collective project. There are lots of collective projects at any given point in time. Uh, hotels, other developments, golf clubs, uh, marinas, all types of things. Uh, there is a whole subset of developers, realtors, lawyers that are constantly looking for folks who want to uh, invest in a particular piece of real estate and uh, thereby qualify for the golden visa. So since, uh, since I have a little extra time today, I will just give you a quick look around the town. You can see the town goes down that way and then you can see the marina and I'll come the whole way around so that you can see the, the citadel and the, the opening of the, the castle walls. And you know it's I know it's probably not that great in terms of the um, 
in terms of the video capacity. I'm doing this myself on a little Mac. My my kids are helping me to learn how to do this. There's also a beautiful park on the other side of the house. I didn't really get a chance to show you that, but you can see, you know, the house that that uh, that I invested in is literally the last house on the edge of Kashkesh. And I apologize to all you Portuguese speakers because I'm probably not saying Kashkesh exactly correctly either. But uh, that's my best. Uh, that's my best try. So again, you know, you have all different types of investments you can make. About 90% of people decide to invest in real estate. Most of those either own real estate, you can buy a condo, you can buy a house, you can buy vacant land, you can buy, you know, a gas station somewhere or a shopping mall. There, you, you can really invest in anything you want. That's the beautiful thing about the Golden Visa. In my case, I invested in a collective real estate program. What that means is my name goes on the title, just like the other uh, 19 investors. So I'm uh, a titled owner to the property you see behind me, as are the other uh, 19 partners. Uh, but beyond that, um, you know, I will either participate in the hotel going forward, or there's a mechanism whereby the developer can buy me out over time uh, by paying a uh, almost like interest on the amount that I invested. So those are the types of things. If you're looking for specific projects, don't hesitate to call and contact my office. We can certainly uh, give you the latest. It's hard to put something out there on the internet because literally it changes day by day. Um, I'm spending a couple days here in Lisbon uh, en route to Vienna, Austria, and a meeting with lawyers and realtors and developers. I'm really getting a, a first-hand insight as to the projects that they like, what's happening, you know, which projects are up, which projects are down because of the, the slowdown in tourism. So I hope that gives you a little insight on the types of things you can do. I hope you enjoyed this this podcast that came to you today from Kashkesh, and um, I'll check in with you very soon. When I get to Vienna, Austria, I'll probably be talking a little bit to you there about the uh, Citizenship by Investment program in Austria. It's a very, very well-kept secret. It's only for uh, extremely wealthy people, so it might not be of interest to you, but I'm going to review it anyways. And after I speak about Austria, then I'm going to go into some of the Caribbean programs. Uh, they're a little bit less expensive, uh, and there are a couple right now that uh, are more or less on sale because of their tourism revenues being so low and uh, the whole uh, you know lockdown because of coronavirus. Some of them are processing citizenships uh, all the time. Even during the lockdown, you, you do not have to go there uh, to qualify. So um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have that over the next few days for you. Until then, I wish you happiness. I wish you health. And I wish you wealth that cannot be destroyed by anyone else. Take care. Have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Thanks for joining Joel Nagel and the Global Wealth Fortress Report, a whole new approach to asset protection and estate planning so that now you can live the good life at a great price where the sun never sets on your financial fortress.